The Tesla Cybertruck is Tesla's second primary vehicle outside of the main S3 XY series. The first outsider actually preceded the line, the Roadster. However, this outsider is a very different animal. The Tesla Cybertruck is the car maker's view of the electric pickup and it is an absolute unit. Here's everything we know about Tesla Cybertruck, its release date, features, range, specifications, accessories and more. During his presentation, Elon Musk warned that the design could be too polarizing due to its futuristic Blade Runner style appearance and no one knew exactly what he meant. But now it is clear that he was not kidding. The Tesla Cybertruck has six people and is equipped with a 6.5 foot bed called the Cybertruck Vault. The top is covered, but it unfolds if you need to fit in something higher than the roof of the safe. As you can say below, the design is definitely futuristic, perhaps more than any concept car that has really hit the road in recent history. However, Tesla probably won't dramatically change the design before sending the truck, so if that's what you pre-ordered, it's probably very close to the real thing. The Cybertruck has the famous Tesla armored glass, which is intended to protect windows from even the wildest enemies with heavy objects. The glass failed to be detected, but Elon said it was because the glass was broken before the presentation and it wasn't a glass fault. Thanks to the newly applied design patents, we now know where a lot of influence on Cybertruck came from. Initially, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted in March 2020 that Tesla had begun looking for sites to build a Cybertruck and planned to build the truck in the US center. In May 2020, Electrek exclusively announced that another Tesla plant would be located in Austin, Texas. The following July, Tesla formally secured tax relief for the new Gigafactory in Austin. Tesla initially referred to the factory as the Cybertruck Gigafactory but later reported that Tesla first planned to move the Model Y there. The car maker later renamed it Gigafactory Texas. Tesla will eventually produce the Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck and Tesla Semi at Gigafactory Texas when it inevitably opens. At the Los Angeles event, Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced that the new Cybertruck would start at $39,900 before the incentives, but two more AWD variants will start at $49,900 and $69,900. In addition, Tesla has launched a beta version of its full self-driving V9 features. Although now also available as a $199 subscription per month, Cybertruck customers can add FSD functionality for an additional $10,000. According to reports, most pre-orders chose twin-engine and three-engine versions. Only an estimated 17% of pre-orders concern the single-engine model, which is to be available first. In the actual event, the Cybertruck was to be scheduled for the end of 2021 for a version with two AWD engines and the single-engine version will be released in late 2022. CEO Elon Musk originally announced that Tesla has 250,000 pre-orders within a week of the launch. The company did not update the number of months, but holders of reserved Cybertruck site, CybertruckOwnersClub.com, recorded pre-orders based on their reserve estimate. Cybertruck now reached more than 500,000. In May 2021, bookings exceeded 1 million and continue to grow because of supply looked less likely to begin before the end of the year. Elon Musk said Tesla would introduce an updated version of Cybertruck in the second quarter of 2021 as the company approaches production. Musk also said the truck will be manufactured in Gigafactory, Texas, which is that Tesla had begun looking for sites to build a Cybertruck and planned to build the truck in the US center. In May 2020, Electrek exclusively announced that another Tesla plant would be located in Austin, Texas. The following July, Tesla formally secured tax relief for the new Gigafactory in Austin. Tesla initially referred to the factory as the Cybertruck Gigafactory, but later reported that Tesla first planned to move the Model Y there. The car maker later renamed it Gigafactory Texas. Tesla will eventually produce the Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck and Tesla Semi at Gigafactory Texas when it inevitably opens. 
At the Los Angeles event, Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced that the new Cybertruck would start at $39,900 before the incentives, but two more AWD variants will start at $49,900 and $69,900. In addition, Tesla has launched a beta version of its full self-driving V9 features. Although now also available as a $199 subscription per month, Cybertruck customers can add FSD functionality for an additional $10,000. According to reports, most pre-orders chose twin-engine and three-engine versions. Only an estimated 17% of pre-orders concern the single-engine model, which is to be available first. In the actual event, the Cybertruck was to be scheduled for the end of 2021 for a version with two AWD engines and the single engine version will be released in late 2022. CEO Elon Musk originally announced that Tesla has 250,000 pre-orders within a week of the launch. The company did not update the number of months, but holders of reserved Cybertruck site, CybertruckOwnersClub.com, recorded pre-orders based on their reserve estimate. Cybertruck now reached more than 500,000. In May 2021, bookings exceeded 1 million and continue to grow because of supply looked less likely to begin before the end of the year. Elon Musk said Tesla would introduce an updated version of Cybertruck in the second quarter of 2021 as the company approaches production. Musk also said the truck will be manufactured in Gigafactory, Texas, which is still under construction at the time of writing. As usual, the original data for Cybertruck did not pass. Musk warned that Tesla must be lucky so that the electric pickup would not be delayed. After much speculation and speculation that the Cybertruck will actually be delayed, we now have confirmation directly from Tesla. The Tesla Cybertruck has been postponed to 2022. Although there is no direct timeline yet, all three EV variants have been delayed to next year. At the same time, Tesla is focusing on first supplying customers with a twin engine and a three engine version of the Cybertruck. There will be three versions of the Tesla Cybertruck with different batteries and powertrain configurations. The single engine version of RWD will offer a range of 250 plus miles. The twin engine version will reach a range of 300 plus miles and the version with three AWD engines will have a range of 500 plus miles. In a recent paint and application from Tesla for its Cybertruck UI system, all sample photos show an average range of 610 miles, indicating a potentially more fantastic range on the EV. Tesla did not confirm this, but it is unreasonable to think it can be achieved on a variant with three engines. In addition, the Cybertruck will offer seating for six people, additional storage space under the second row seats and a 17-inch touchscreen. In addition to the truck, the Cybertruck offers 100 cubic feet of lockable external storage space complete with onboard propulsion and compressed air for activities such as camping. The Tesla can increase or decrease the suspension by four inches and have a carrying capacity of three and a half thousand pounds. In July 2021, we learned how Cybertruck door handles would work. When the EV was originally introduced, Elon Musk mentioned that the exterior would undergo some redesigns, including removing door handles, although it was never clear how it would work. Tesla aims to start production of the Model Y at Gigafactory Texas by the end of the year. However, Elon Musk, who was not on call yesterday, previously indicated that Tesla would not switch to Cybertruck production until it succeeds in ramping up production of the Model Y at the new factory. As the CEO himself admits, it's hard to predict a production ramp up and therefore the end of 2022 could still be the Cybertruck timeline. At Tesla's shareholders meeting, Elon Musk updated Cybertruck's release date, announcing that full production will not be as soon as expected. These meetings discuss various company news that could affect the financial condition and stock prices of the company. Towards the end, CEO Musk answered questions, taking inspiration from the ones that generated the most interest ahead of the meeting, and even answered a few live questions afterwards. What is your take on Cybertruck? Let us know in the comments section below. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video.